everybody, it's me again, and welcome back to part number 15 of Let's Replay Assassin's Creed 2. We have five names crossed off our list, uh, led by Jacopo de Pazzi and the others. Antonio Maffei. Okay, Jacopo de Pazzi. Let's see if I can remember the names, actually. Jacopo de Pazzi, Antonio Maffei, Stefano de Bagnone, um, something Baroncelli, and... I don't remember the last one! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Sorry! But okay, I think, uh, we're back in- we're back in Florence! And here's the Palazzo Medici, which has a Templar hideout in there, but we're not gonna do that because we're gonna save it for shenanigans. And before we do anything- Ah, uh, damn it. I guess I'll read about it. Completed in 1455 by Cosina Livin- uh, Did I read about this already? Completed in 1455 by Cosimi de Medici's Livin architect Michelozzo de Bartolomeo Michelozzi, I can't believe I pronounced that on the first try. The Palazzo Medici was constructed as the private residence of, residence of the Medici family. It was des a bear. Let me try that again. It was designed according to the values of humanism, the dominant ideology of the Renaissance, which attempts to engage the viewer with structures built on a more human scale. At least that's the theoretical ideology of the Palazzo, but the effect goes something more like this. The outside of this foreboding and the outside is foreboding and keeps people out. If the facade could talk, it seems to be saying, Get back, you do not belong here, you are not important enough to enter. In contrast, the interior courtyard, which only the Medici and their guests saw, has none of the exterior's hard edges. It's full of luscious, curving round arches, like a wedding cake. It says, You've arrived, welcome to paradise. In fact, both Cosimo both approved the courtyard and rejected an earlier architectural plan by Brunelleschi that would have led to a more open facade. He wanted a Medici fortress inside Florence. Interesting. And that building is right here. Very cool. But okay, now, before we do anything, I can open up the map now. I am going to locate a tailor. Nearest one being right about there. And we're gonna see if I can dye my clothes. Crimson or mahogany? You know what? I wanna do one of these. Cause what's cooler than white and red? Black and red. Oh man. I look like I belong in Gryffindor house with that, so I'm not gonna wear that. I don't know, they're both cool! Black Hood or Red Hood? I like mahogany. Let's go ahead and do this. Alright, let's see how I look! Oh shit, yeah. Now I look cool. It doesn't trail too far from the original robes either, so that's- it's a good start for dying clothes until I get to Venice. Let's see if I can buy any pouches. Knife belt upgrade. I definitely... I need. Yes. And fuck it, I'll get the other one. Okay, there. Now I can carry... 15? I think? Is that a thing? Ben, On that ben. note, I'm gonna go to this blacksmith right here too and replenish my throwing I'm knives. Good for Hello! Throw it. I can carry 20 now. Frick yeah. And I'll get two more smoke. I like the Sultan's knife. Let's go ahead and get that. And I believe I lost my sword. Sure, let's get the scimitar. I just wasted all of my money. But I don't care. I'm alright with armor for now. I'll wait till I get more money. Come and see me next to Fuzz This Way. Yeah, look at that sword! Oh my god, that's so freaking cool. See, now I'm cool. Lorenzo! Hello! I've read about you already, haven't I? Oh, I have, I have, I remember. When we were on the bridge overlooking the Arno. <laughs> Hello, Lorenzo! I see you fully the recovered. The are dead. Every one of them. I must admit, I've never before believed I could desire the death of others so badly. Nor I. Ezio, thank you for the role you've played in keeping this dream of mine alive a little longer. Nessun a mio, signore. What will you do now, Pignolo? There are still others I must hunt, signore. They are already digging their claws into the heart of Venezia. No, la bella Venezia. Then that is where your journey must take you, Ezio. We're going to Venice! I have something After I just dyed my clothes, fuck my life. Is. This cape identifies you as a friend of the Medici. As long as you wear it, 
The city guards will be more tolerant of your actions. But be warned, it will not grant you immunity from the law. Che la fortuna favorisca la tua lama. Molto grazie. All right, we have a Medici cape and I have automatically equipped it. That's only for Florence though. Isn't that only a Florentine thing? Eh, I don't know. In Florence or Tuscany. So what's the point? I'm going to Venice, goddammit. I think I'm going to the mountains first though, aren't I? I gotta go help Leonardo on my way over there because I can't fast travel straight to Venice. Venice is a bit of a ways. San Lorenzo, what is this? A church in which all the Medici went to die. San Lorenzo claims to be the oldest in Florence. It was con consecrated in 393 while still outside the city walls. Wow. Michelangelo designed the inner facade while Filippo Brunelleschi, the creator of Santa Maria del Fiore's dome, designed the layout. He died before the church was finished and several of his designs were subs subsequently modified. Containing nearly 50 tombs, the Medici crypt was intended to house the Holy Sepulchre containing the body of Christ at its center. However, attempts to buy it and then to steal it from Jerusalem failed, proving that bankers can buy a lot of things, but not integrity. <laughs> Very true. All right, I need to get to... Oh, hello, gentlemen. If we feel like taking your purse and slicing your throat, well... Same to you, prick. I'm gonna take your money. You got a big mouth. Yeah. What the devil are you doing over here? You don't see me. Get I can't down. wait for a conventional crouch button. Oh no! The actual stealth system. Ooh. Nice catch, Ezio. In Unity. I can't wait. I can't wait! And that co-op heist demo looks so good! I wanted to land on the wire, but I guess that's cool too. Um, what's really cool about the co-op missions in Unity is that you don't have to play it online with a co-op friend. It's like, if you are like the only one of your friends who's gotten next gen and you don't have any friends on Xbox One that have Unity, you can still complete them and play them by yourself. I think that's really cool. Sort of like uh, most of the Blacklist co-op missions. Leonardo! I'm gonna go Leonardo. visit Leonardo! Leonardo! Oh no, wait, this is after- he's left. He's gone up to the mountains. It is Fiace, Messer, but he is gone. Maestro Leonardo was commissioned by a Venetian noble to paint some portraits. He paid for the Maestro to move his entire workshop to Venezia. It's quite an opportunity. Grazie indeed. mille, friend. Thank you very much for the information! Okay. Road trip! <laughs> now we're heading out to the city. We're gonna go to the- Now we're going to the mountains to meet up with them. This is one of my favorite scenes in all of Assassin's Creed coming up here. When we meet up with him in his carriage. It's the history freak in me. It just makes me laugh. Okay. We've made it to the horses. Turning around. Go horse! Hop over nothing. Cause you're an intelligent beast. Oh god, these MOVE! I think I'm stuck now. God damn it, there we go. Jesus Lord Almighty. To the mountains! Or Gregor Clegane. Hee 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 hee. Let's go. Leonardo! You got a Leonardo. flat tire, even though you can't really it's have a flat tire with wooden wheels, what? can you? Look, I um, have run into a bit of trouble. Let me see if I can help. I know how to fix it, but lack the means to do so. If you could just lift the wagon. No problem. Uh, what is this thing? Eh? It looks like a giant bat. Oh, nothing. Just an idea I've been working on. I could not leave it behind. <sighs> what is it for? Well, I shouldn't really talk about it. Beh, al diavolo. I can't hold it in anymore. Ezio, I think I figured out how to make a man fly. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'll drive. He literally just but laughs I in his face. Told you where I'm going. 
<laughs> he literally just laughs at him. He's like, oh, oh, Leo. Like, oh, my sweet summer child. <laughs> it's freaking hilarious. And I just noticed, this is music actually from uh, Assassin's Creed 1. Drive Leonardo's carriage toward Venice. Easier said than done. I just, I love that scene. It's so fucking Venezia, funny. Venezia, such a beautiful city. So many sources of inspiration. Ponte di Rialto, Piazza San Marco, L'Arsenale. What's wrong? We're not alone. What's oh, happening? Time to Who go. are they? Rodrigo Borgia's men. Why? What do they want with us? They want me, not they you. They want us dead. Leonardo, hide! All right, time to drive this thing. They're trying to climb on board. Knock them off. Duh! Itchy, someone's on top. I know. Turns to make the carriage roll. There goes one. for the horses. Oh, flaming arrows, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, explosive arrows! Well, that's even better! I'm taking extra care to not flip the carriage anymore. Because I figure it's actually quite easy to flip the carriage. I just got lucky that I'd never done it before. And unlucky that the only time I do do it, I got it caught on camera. So yay! Get off my plane! Air Force One. Or get off my lawn! Gran Torino. Or let go of the car! From Back to the Future Part 2. Scream, are we there yet? Leonardo read my mind. He's a smart man. Get the fuck away from me. Oh! Uh, oh, he got taken out by the bridge. Did you see that? Oh, that was fantastic. You're here for me, not you. I'll catch up with you later. You wanna fight me? My new sword to the test. Oh Jesus, I did not mean to taunt you, just so you know. Who wants some? Get this one is Combo! Come on, who wants some? Oh god, not you! Yeah! 
it's really hard watch, trying to watch all of them at the same time for signs that they're gonna hit me. Because they don't have the little red blip above their head that shows me they're about to hit me. I turn that off. This one is so it's really, really difficult watching like five people at the same time, seeing which one of them is gonna try and hit me next. If I taunt them, that makes it a little easier. Get out from behind me! Does anybody want to try and hit me? Come on! Oh God, you do! Woo! Thank goodness you missed. Take it now! Wait for a Eh! Your turn! Your turn, big man! Come on, Gregor Clegane! Woo! Seriously, what? I taunted at a really bad time. Oh, there goes one down. Can I break defenses? I can't kick in the ball. Damn it! You're the last one standing. Ow! I tried to counter him like an idiot. Ah! Yo, just to show off, I'm gonna beat you with these. Yeah! I don't need no big weapons to kill anybody. I am no pussy. Freak yeah! Okay. Most of the time, when I ever conflict would arise, when I played this last time, I'd just run away because I was not good at fighting. Now I'm a little better. And now I can actually stop and fight and actually kill a big group of guards. I mean, in this game and the first game I'm talking about. Because in Brotherhood Revelations 3 and 4, combat is really quite simple. So, you know, I'm not really talking about that because really that's easy for everybody, pretty much. I'm talking about these first couple games. And hopefully in Unity. Unity looks like they're bringing elements of the combat from 2 and 1 back. So I'm really excited for that. It looks like Rogue is pretty much going to be the same mechanics and everything as Black Flag. Which is okay, because it's one more game, and I love Black Flag, however easy the combat is. Really, the combat's really easy. So if you don't like the combat, whether the combat's too hard or you just don't like it, then don't use it. Be stealthy, you know? Either way, it's perfectly avoidable. So anyway, that's my loading screen rant for the day. We're in Forli now, aren't we? Or Romania? Right, then we gotta take a boat to Venice. I remember this. This is when we meet Katarina Sforza. And actually, you know what? I'm, I'm pretty much... I'm out of time. I'm gonna head to this viewpoint uh, in the next episode. So I hope you guys are enjoying my replay of Assassin's Thanks. Creed 2. Like and favorite if you are. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in my next video. Farewell, friends.